I think that's one of the key questions, if there, if there, is, uh, if there are any, um, about this. Uh, and you will see that the discussion that the doctor has with you, but also the informed consent form, which is the document that you can review yourself before you sign it, is very much phrased towards the, that. The benefit is always that we're hoping to find a treatment that's better than the standard of care. The benefit, clearly, to anyone who participates in the trial is access to something that otherwise you could not do. A new medication that's not on the market yet, a new type scan that may give us more information. So the benefit is that we'll make your cancer better. And the hope is that we'll do this more efficiently than standard therapy. The risk, philosophically speaking, is that we know much less about this than about something that we've already been using for 10 years, right? I mean, it is ultimately an experiment. It is, uh, you know, therapy that is investigational and that we have a clear hypothesis. We think this is going to work better than what we're already doing, but the only way to know is going to be to do the trial and treat not just one patient but many patients to find out in the process. Now, the nitty-gritty risks are, of course, also the potential side effects and so forth. And one thing that is very important to understand is joining a clinical trial and going on a on a new type therapy does not mean that the treatment is brand new. What I mean by that? So what I mean is it might be a drug that we've already tested in various other clinical trials. It might be a drug that's already been on the market for this cancer, but now we are applying it in a new way. It might be that we're giving it on a different schedule. It might be that we're combining it with something else, right? So it could be a treatment that we know is effective. We're just trying to make it more effective. or it could be something that's brand new. We know nothing about it. You know, we're just starting to give this to patients and everything we know so far is sort of hypothetical. So there's a huge variety of like what these risks in terms of knowing, not knowing could be on a clinical trial. And you should learn that in the process of talking to your doctor, reading the con consent form.